At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency what my profit or losses were with my automated trading systems. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about June 2021. Let's get started. My June 2021 returns, and it was a rough month. I lost negative $4,265.20. And once again, just for transparency, you can see at the top left, if I check SIM 101, which is paper trading, the results change. If I uncheck it, it's fully my account. Um, so yeah, it was a rough, rough month for sure. I had a couple technical issues. There was actually a lot. There was two missed out trades because of technical issues. Um, and both trades would have been quite profitable. I think I would have ended the month in green if, if those trades went through. But um, one of them was the futures contract switching out. I have an automated system that changes the futures contracts in the, the next expiry date and it wasn't working. It, it didn't work correctly and there was an error. Of course, it's been fixed now, but um, you can't go back and redo it. So anyways, yeah, no, it was a rough month for sure. Um, pay, let's see some of the stats, paid over $155 in commission. It actually doesn't seem like that much. Um, of course, everything is negative sharp ratio because everything was wrong. Um, I like this probability metric. It's basically the percentage chance each day that you're going to make a trade. So 74% chance, uh, uh, you know, there's a 74% chance I was making a trade. Um, total trades was 33 at a 45% win rate, uh, 15 winning trades, 18 losing trades. Um, my average trade was negative $129.25. Uh, I had five max consecutive winners, four losers. My largest winning trade was 1700. My largest losing trade was negative 2000. Um, average trades per day was 2.71. Average time in the market was 237 minutes. Um, longest flat period is 4.88 days. So let's take a look at our equity graph here. Um, so yeah, overall it was crap. It's crap. It was just, you know, the market most for the most part went up in June. And my strategies were just not, not accustomed to it, not not working with the current, with with June's uh, cycle, you know, market cycle. And um, you know, it's all part of the game. You're gonna have losing days, losing weeks, losing months. It's just how it is, you know. I can't can't say that I'll win every single month. I'd like to for sure, but it's a pipe dream, you know. You just have to uh, make sure you're putting in the work to building great strategies that meet, meet, you know, profitable goals and diversify enough that you can reduce your risk. Um, and yeah, anyways, June, June was not a month. Um, it was a lot more than I was willing to lose for sure. Um, you know, negative 4,000 would probably be about, you know, more than 10% of my account, maybe 11 or 12%. So definitely a, a sizable loss for a month. Um, July is looking really good. So we're definitely gonna get back into profit there for sure. Um, there's only six more days in July. And uh, so far we're up, we're up a decent amount for July. Um, nothing crazy, but I think more enough than to take our losses. Um, so going forward, we have, so I'm still using the same strategies, but we are diversifying into other asset classes now and other um, assets specifically. So mainly I was trading uh, the NASDAQ futures um, five days a week with the, each different strategy per weekday. Uh, now we've added other assets like Bitcoin futures, uh, Dow Jones futures, and uh, FDAX futures, which is German, German um, index futures. So we got a little basket going on right now and uh, the back test results were very, very promising. Um, and we launched those, um, I'm launching those for, I keep saying we, I launched those in uh, midway through July. So we're gonna see some of the benefits in July, but I think we'll see most of it in August. And um, yeah, so far, so good. It's working, it's working. So uh, I think July, July is gonna be profitable. Um, and then I think August, we'll, we'll get back into the green. Overall, you know, I'm still year to date doing very well. But um, once again, just being transparent with you guys, showing you the results month in and month out. Um, let me take out this magnifier here because I wanna show you some other stuff. Okay, close you. Um, let's 
So with Ninja Trader, we can also show day of the week. This is really cool. On average, Tuesdays, I made a profit, which is, or sorry, that was Monday. On average, Monday and Tuesday, I made a profit and Thursday. But you can see my, my Wednesday trading system is absolutely got wrecked in Sunday too, Friday, I guess. But um, my Tuesday trading system only goes short. So that's very interesting because the market still went up, but I was still able to make money on Tuesday shorting, which is very interesting. Um, yeah, Wednesday was was killer. So stuff like this, you know, you got to analyze this stuff and say, hey, like one of my strategies is not performing. You should probably get rid of it. Now I am keeping it, but I'm I'm adding this strategy to more symbols to different assets to hopefully reduce that risk because in June, it was only trading NASDAQ futures. So, you know, we were kind of looking at NASDAQ to be our holy grail, all right? And it worked for some days of the week and some some days it didn't work. But uh, I think with the new, the, the other asset classes, it should do well. Um, but stuff like this, you gotta analyze. You gotta say, hey, you know, what's not performing? Should we take it out, but should we improve it? So I like this view a lot. Um, let me go to the hour of the day. This is really cool. So at 8 a.m. is my most profitable on market open, as well as noon. And at 3 p.m. is the worst, which is, you know, around session close when the market closes. That's really, really cool. Uh, and the only profit I made was the last week of June, 1300. The other two were quite big. So, yeah, anyways, guys, you know, it was a losing month. Um, I'm going to show it to you, you know, um, it sucks, but you're going to see it. If I win or lose, you know, I'm not trying to hide any, anything and not trying to, you know, Photoshop anything and, and lie to your faces. Like a lot of YouTubers are, I lost this month. I lost money and with algo trading and investing, there's lots of risk, right? Lots and lots of risk doing this stuff. Um, it's potential more reward. But there's lots of risk. So it's not for everybody and at the end of the day you have to build a track record once you have that track record and you have the processes in place back testing you know trying out of sample using tools like monte carlo analysis uh paper trading running a system live automating that system so it runs smoothly um, you can really scale things and, and, and make potentially make a profit, right? Um, but anyways, this is a losing month and I'm excited for next month to show you July returns. I apologize on being very, very late and showing you the returns. Um, I've had a lot of deadlines this, this month with some of the projects I'm working on. So YouTube is my YouTube has taken a bit of a hit, but we're going to come back at it stronger than ever. And, um, July will be. You know, July is so far in a profit, so I'm excited for that. And then uh, excited for, for August as well. So anyways, I hope you found value in this video. This is my June 2020 returns. It was a loss, but we're going to bring it back and, um, you know, hopefully get back into the green. Uh, so if you found value in this video, please hit the like button and comment down below. If you enjoy these videos, I appreciate any one of you, all of you. And, you know, I just do these to show you transparency and be real with you guys. Okay, that's my end goal. Um, so anyways, we will see you guys next week for the next video. Peace out guys.